Hello, in today's video I'm going to install a second leisure battery into the motorhome. This um, motorhome only comes with one as standard and they are only 100 amps. So because we do a lot of off-grid camping in the motorhome, we're going to have two batteries because in the future we will be fitting an inverter as well. This is a Ford motorhome so the battery is underneath the passenger seat. Right, quick disclaimer before we get started with fitting a new battery. Uh, I'm not a mechanic, I don't work in the leisure industry, so this is all my own DIY jobs. Right, the first thing we need to do is there's four bolts that hold the seat on, they're all Torx fittings, and also we need to unbolt the seat belt. So we'll start by unbolting the seat belt. Take your four fittings off, there's this black plastic cover at the back to come off, which just pull the clips there and they come off. Right, let's get this started then and uh, get our new battery fitted. Right, so to take the seat belt off, it is a T50. Right, to take the four bolts off that hold the seat on, it's a T40. So we'll just undo those four bolts and we can lift the seat out. It is going to be quite heavy though, so it may take two people. It's just worth noting, whilst I'm undoing the bolts, when we do come to refit the seat, there's these locators just at the front. So when you come to put the seat back on, make sure they're lined up in those holes first. Now the seat's out, it's more awkward than heavy. We're going to just take this plate off, which means undoing the three 10mm bolts here. Right, bolts are off, that just lifts out, so put that to one side. And that's the alarm on the seat, extra security. Move that cover, and that locates the battery. So we are going to have to alter all this slightly to get both batteries in. It is worth noting when we pick this up from our quest, it already come with the battery. That was a 12141. We got ours from County Batteries delivered to the door for £80 online. So, quite a good uh, bargain. Right, just for extra safety, we're going to disconnect this battery while we're trying to figure out the best layout to get the two batteries in together, just so we don't catch anything and cause any sparks. Right, to get the two batteries in, what we're going to have to do is move this junction box, uh, take it off the side here, and we'll put it onto the reverse just here. Right, it's only two screws hold it on. Right, just remove these excess bits here. It's literally just a standing knife, you just cut them nice and uh, just be very careful because underneath some of these there are some cables. So don't cut through the cables.
like, what we've had to do just so because the batteries almost go up to that line there and I didn't want the cables to start rubbing. Uh, I've cut a little bit there and a little bit here so the cables will fit nicely up. And what I've done is I've bent it up just so there's no sharp edges just there for the um, cable to rub against and cut through. So I'm just going to tidy it all up now, make it look a little bit neater and then we can start fitting the batteries. Right, so now we're about ready to put the battery in. Um, the junction box there we've just cable tied it on so we're not drilling through because behind there is just the plastic of the seat right let's drop this in place then well that's the two batteries in now um it doesn't look too bad the wiring's a bit of a rat's nest but it'll soon be covered up so all we need to do now is get the seat back on uh well get the top panels on seat back on well it is worthwhile noting that we didn't have any of these breather pipes on the original battery so i've managed to pick a couple of extra up just in case so right we'll get the seat on and get this job finished So the last bit of the job now just uh, reconnecting the seat belt um, I hope you've liked this video don't forget to give us a big thumbs up like subscribe and please feel free to share the video if you think it's been of any use and we'll see you again next time on family adventures thanks for watching